Hello there. One of my sister-in-law's birthday is coming soon, so I made this handmade birthday card using watercolor yesterday. And I thought that it could be nice to show you how I made because it is hard to get birthday cards at the store right now. So I prepared water, one for color, one for washing brushes, and a paper towel, some Kleenex tissues, cheap watercolor set. Usually I use these nice brushes, but today I'm going to use this brush comes with this set. Because uh, just in case if you want to make this flower greeting card using watercolor after you watch my video, you can try it easily with any paint materials you have at home. Let's start. First, use a little thick paper. I use the watercolor paper. Fold it in a half. I'm going to paint flowers on this half. Use masking tape. Tape around the edges like so. If you don't have any masking tape, use a scotch tape. Or you don't need any tape. I used red and orange mix up to make a color to start painting a big flower in the middle of the paper. Start by making a stroke in the middle, slowly pressing harder to make a teardrop shape. Make more of those but overlapping until you have the shape of the flower like so. And I use the purple to paint the same way. A little bit up, a little bit different direction. And mix orange and yellow to paint. I saw hair from the brush in the flower. I had to take it out and use a tissue. When you use a cheap brushes, sometimes these things happening. Paint it over again. Did you notice how in the red one there is a paint puddle in the middle? You can take care of that problem to use a clean brush like so. Brush outward to make it look like petals and make the flower nice. Let's paint some different kinds of flowers. I used purple to paint flowers looks like lavenders. In order to paint them, tap the brush with a purple paint onto the paper, like so. Paint some more those in different places. Now use blue, paint kind of the same way of uh, you painted the looks like a lavender flowers, but a little bit more circling, small dots. Now I'm going to use a little bit deep blue, mixing with a purple and a little bit purple and blue all mixing together, make a little bit dark, bluish purple color and paint um, those kind of flowers looks like a star five petals 
of flower. This is um, not realistic paint. This is more like a design. So you can paint any kind of flowers, any kind of shapes. You can make a So I made um, green and brown and a little bit black, make a dark green. And draw stems. Now draw some leaves. Some leaves are long, some leaves are going together like so. Put those leaves on each stem. Use a little bit different green, and this time the same methods, but put those leaves any place you want. I feel like a little bit empty, so I'm gonna um, paint some more greens and dots this gonna be um, buds you know some flowers has some buds those kind of you know going up and down go around like stems usually the puppies has those things puppy buds usually has And more leaves I'm just put some more greens using um, those methods Just use brush and a Kleenex, brush out the flowers, make better petals. And put some different colors. Oh, I think I painted too much. If you want to clean out those things, just the same methods using just clean brush and a Kleenex wipe off on the Kleenex. I think it's okay now. I'm giving some different colors to purple flower. Oops, I used too much color again, so I'm gonna wipe off again with the clean brush with the Kleenex, like so. And make flower nice with the brush stroke. I think it's almost done, but I feel like I have to put some little more. Um, stuff so I'm using 
yellow and green mix a light yellowish green a light green and put some on the dots this brush and then give some more stems looks like okay give some more stems on the yellow dots yellowish greenish dots Make it flow down all the greens. Make looks like a really beautiful garden or wild field, flower field. And put some more leaves. Just design your flower field. Use your imagination. Okay, now I'm going to make a nice border. I used I used a light blue and paint around the the line. Let it dry. And now take off the tape. Uh, very gently, you have to be very gentle. You don't want to um, take off the paper with the tape together. Now it's all done. I hope you liked this video and try out to make your own cards for your family and friends. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and be creative.